it's just like it would be with radians. We got to know where these coordinate points are. However, before we do that, we need to make sure that we know how do we evaluate when I have two angles. Oh, this is subtraction, right? So it's subtraction, u minus v, where that's my u and that's my v. Remember, you're subtracting u minus v. All right, so it's not negative 30 degrees. It's going to be you're taking the positive value of this. Anyways, for the cosine function, it's cosine of u times cosine of v plus sine of u times sine of v. All right, so it is going to be a little bit of trickiness when you guys are doing this to notice that, yes, cosine is the opposite, but you guys will have these formulas with you. Um, so let's go and find out where these angles are. Well, 30 degrees, that's pretty easy. We know that's 60 degrees, which is pi over 6. That's 45 degrees, which is pi over 4. And 30 degrees is up here. So um, therefore, 30 degrees, that's uh, 30 degrees. It's 1 half comma square root of 2 square root of 3 over 2. Right? Now we got to do 225 degrees. Well, I know that halfway around a circle is 180 degrees, right? And then to get to 225, I need to add another 45. So that means it's going to go all the way right here. So if I continue my unit circle around, it's going to be right here, which you guys can see is a direct reflection of this point, which is at pi over 4, which is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. So if I was going to take that coordinate point and throw it into the fourth quadrant, or the third quadrant, I know that both the x and the y are going to be negative. So that's square root of 2 over 2 comma negative square root of 2 over 2. Question, Austin, or thing? Wait, so I'm sorry, say it again. That's OK. All right, well, just let me know once I'm done. If you have another question, I'll be or have to go. So now the next thing I want to do is evaluate into my, uh, my, my angles. So I'm taking the cosine of 225 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees, not negative, of 30 degrees times the sine of 225 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. Please note that 30 degrees is positive. All right? You're subtracting two positive angles. So now we evaluate. Cosine of 225 is this um, point, which is negative square root of 2 divided by 2. Cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Three. Square root of cosine, wait a minute. I'm looking at this one, yeah. That's going to be 1 half, right? Thirty degrees. Thirty degrees is right here, yeah. right? Not sixty. 30, 45, 60. I don't know. I'm sorry. What am I doing? That's obviously thirty degrees. That's obviously sixty degrees. There's your point. So cosine of thirty degrees is going to be square root of three over two, plus the sine of two hundred twenty-five degrees is negative square root of two over two. Guys, it's really yes. Thank you very much. It's really hard for people to pay attention, especially if you're trying to either help somebody out or just carry on a conversation. Um, because then people that are trying to pay attention, or at least to make sure they're, they're having everything out, can't really focus and pay attention. And especially you can't even hear exactly what I have to say. And then sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. And if you weren't paying attention, then some of you might have said, oh, well, you just assume that whatever I had up there was correct because you weren't paying attention. But thankfully, someone's paying attention and say, oh, wait, you mix up 30 and 60, which is very common. Um, so here I multiply these across, which will be a negative square root of 6 over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4. All right. Now, you can definitely factor out a negative if you like, or you can factor out or just keep it positive. I'm just going to factor out a positive square root of 2 over 4. So therefore, that's going to leave this as the square root of 3 um, minus 1. That would be your final. Oh, wait, that's negative, right? OK, questions? Juliana Fafiale? And that's it.